let's get input from our PowerShell script the right way. First, we're going to do an add type. We're going to add assembly name Microsoft.VisualBasic. Once you have that on there, you'll go ahead and create your variable. Going to do Microsoft.VisualBasic.Interaction. Close that out. Input box. going to put in the name and the placeholder and now we will run it and as you can see you now have a lovely way of collecting user input without having them type into the ugly blue screen hope that helps